Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses where today we are once again continuing with our Fall of the Republic preview playthrough as the Galactic Republic. Uh, this is continuing on from the episode we posted earlier today. I'm live. I'm doing another live recording on Twitch for those watching on YouTube. Uh, in the last episode we kind of surrounded Thanos. We're going to be working first on getting Balamak. So we've got our ground forces en route here uh, through Charos to Balamak. We'll probably do Balamak then Charos and... Uh, We'll have this CIS fleet, at least we'll know where it is. I don't think we're in a position to destroy it just yet. Uh, let's take a look at our history here. Economically, they're definitely winning. Militarily, they're still growing a bit, but we've got uh, we've got a better position than we had before. We're going to be able to uh, hopefully hold on to what we have, and that'll keep them separated up here from down here, if we can just cut off... Uh, their last little zones out. Uh, we're also going to Beginning construction. hopefully be able to take Pamont and Mintuin sooner than later. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much focusing on this section because that's their main forces. And the last areas we'll probably take over are the southeastern parts here with Camino. We'll liberate Camino. But, uh, but yeah, so normally we'd be streaming Edge of the Empire tonight, uh, so unfortunately something came up that we aren't going to be able to do that tonight, so this stream is kind of uh, a replacement for that. Uh, but let's unpause here and we'll get back into it. The New Republic playthrough did start yesterday as well, uh, and there's a lot of new stuff to look at with that, so if you haven't seen that yet, uh, that is in my opinion, worth taking a look at. It is probably going to be a somewhat shorter playthrough than this one and the CIS Everyone one before it. And the next Let's Play we do is going to be uh, CIS after this one ends, and it will be probably stick to like 50 to 70 planets with that one, one of the smaller maps. Which means I'm going to have to make one of the smaller maps. But I was going to have to do that anyways. All right, let's destroy the little guy. And I'm not sure how long we're gonna go with, go for with this tonight. Uh, generally, like I had my schedule cleared up until uh, I was gonna do modding from now until the start of uh, Edge of the Empire, and then we usually stream that from like eight till ten or eleven. So this could end up being a pretty long stream. I do want to get. Uh, a decent idea of how long the series is going to go for, so... Definitely won't be 24 hours. I do kind of want to do another 12-hour stream to replace the, uh... Or to... Help make up for the... When we had to end... Kind of prematurely because I was losing my voice. No! Don't destroy the LEC! Standing by. Moving into position. All right. Holding fire for maximum effect. Yes, sir. Moving out. All power to the engine. Try to keep them away. Dreadnought crews are ready. It actually lived. Heavy cruiser standing by. Reporting. Charge laser cannons. Attacking. Yeah, the the shields on the recusants are probably a bit too strong right now. Still. Get back there. What are your orders? Heavy cruiser standing by. Captain here. Moving. All ahead. Dreadnoughts during this period with just like the majority laser armament. Not fantastic. Okay, you're not actually doing anything. There. Take the dual turbo right You were not in weapons range. What are going to be the differences between ICW and Father Republic armaments? Well, in uh, the Father Republic era, there's a lot more laser cannons, fewer turbo lasers on dreadnoughts. 
Uh, and the Katana fleet in ICW will probably be changed to reflect that. And we might even add some more ion cannons to these ones just to reflect the Katana fleet ones. Uh, and just keep it be like an internal modification for the Katana fleet. For this period. I copy, sir. Reporting. Attacking. Targeting at maximum firepower. Come about. Moving to sector. Charge laser cannons. God damn it. If we had like no firepower against the actual ships. Oh well. Um hmm. What is this fleet at Ruxuli doing? I, I did want to move some of this stuff back. I, let's, let's give that a shot. I'll just auto-resolve this if I, I can't get through. All right, that's nice. Uh, they should be at Balamac by now, though. So let's take that over. We'll start off with Delta Squad. Let's go, Deltas. I need to do another Republic Commando playthrough. I did one like two years ago, but that's forever in YouTube time. I really wish we got a sequel to Repcom. Or that Repcom was co-op inherently. I know there's some mods that make it uh, co-op, but they were kind of a, a mess to get working in my experience. I think Bane and I tried it once. Uh, Yoda, because I want your view stuff. Let's get some clones down in here. Get a lat. Get some glutes. Alright, Yoda. Lost him in the grass there for a second. What are the only available fighters in this build? Arc 170s and V19s? It's not that it's like the ships, I'm just wondering where the rest of the ships are. Well, they weren't finished yet, is basically where they are. Uh, this build is... We started it two months ago now, uh, and a lot of the fighters just weren't done at that point. Uh, the Y-Wings were only done since then. Uh, same with the new V-Wing, which was only done, like, last week. Uh, yeah. Pretty much just not done yet. There's another reason why the mod isn't out yet, because stuff wasn't done. There was a comment on one of the episodes, uh, like, last week or something, and, like, oh, if you can do 26 episodes, you can do... Aerial artillery reporting. You should just release the mod. Like, no, it's not done yet. So if that person is still watching, that's why it's not out. And so much of the videos are me talking about, like, what still needs to be done. So, there's a big difference between the lead dev of the mod playing and, like, knowing what they can and can't do or what they should or shouldn't avoid, uh, versus having it being played by thousands of people at once, where they don't really know what they can or can't do at any given point. Uh, yeah, the A6 was Bob. Let's actually drop you there. Kill them all. We've lost the landing zone. Ready to receive orders. Receiving orders. Uh, where is that lat? Contested. Starting kill sweep. 
Move you guys over here, I guess. There's the lat. Uh, no, in Father Republic, the only juggernauts that'll stay are the, uh, the A5 and A6. The B5s, as something that was introduced by Empire at War, doesn't really have much lore attached to it, but the assumption we're going with is that it's something introduced by the Imperials. You guys can destroy the J ones. Let's go. Follow behind me. Ready, am I? Yoda and Boss come over right here. Attacking. And the reason I wanted the lad over here is so I can destroy oh, some more of the J ones. Bardment on the base. You're going to go destroy the other structure. While our units deal with all their units. Uh, yeah, I think Boss and Yoda will be able to handle that. You are going to go destroy more J1s. You need to kill their snails. You guys are doing a good job with the D1s. Alright, good. Got all the structures, they're going to retreat. That's Balamac for us. Planetary control achieved. Welcome, Ato. Glad you can make it. Yeah, since this playthrough started, there's been a new LAT ATPT or ATAP. Uh, then recently, Doctor Nickers started on uh, a Venator model, and Bob's been finishing that up too. Uh, code user did or Doctor Nick did the uh, the V wing as well. So if the squad worked the same as the squad of troopers for EOTH noise. Yeah, it's uh it all uses the basic Empire at War logic for squads. So it's kind of weird and inconsistent in the game. Uh, but it's not really something we can change either. Unfortunately. Like to customize it, you'd kind of have to make them spawn out of boss, and then if boss died, they'd all die. But even that's not really ideal, so it just kinda of is what it is. Well, I messed that up. Alright, uh, let's start with Yoda this time. If they bring that fleet out of Thanos, then we'll go for Thanos. That fleet how it is. I'm pretty scared of going there. Alright, uh, let's get a squad of stormtroopers, or clone troopers, not stormtroopers. Definitely not clone stormtroopers. Get Yoda over to that one. We'll get Juggernaut, ETAP. And we're just going to send the lieutenant or sergeant from this clone company down to the reveal structure. 
The rest of you are going to go up this way. We'll back him up if uh, droids start coming in, but it might even just be a Jedi we send down there. The rocket launcher ones aren't armed right now, but that's the new clone. Okay, you guys are in the way. Get away so the juggernaut can do its job. Otherwise it's waiting for you. Just, you know what, just get in. Back up. <laughs> this guy doesn't know how to do a three-point turn. Reinforcement point contested. Come on. Earth shrouds this place. The dark side does. Mm. It's a small pile of rocks. Look, I so old to young eyes. Do I? There we go. Let's go. Oh, right. The the troopers in Father Republic were bugged at this point, so those ones are not going to be able to move right now. Alright. Go to head back there. They just need fixes to their garrison behaviors. Alright, uh, let's bring in Kree, I think this is? Oh, the ATTE is also old model. Right. You can finish that off, Yoda. Yeah, the Delta Squad model skin icon, and I think even most of the coding is the exact same as it was in the uh, Father Republic mini mod from 2006 or 2007 maybe 2008 I think 2008 uh, so a lot of that will get redone at some point probably not before uh, release though of the first version it'll just be updated afterwards This Attila is the A6 Juggernaut, so it's not the same kind that was in Base Empire War, although they designed that basically just by modeling the Juggernaut, realizing the stats were going to be difficult to put in game and then calling it something else. That's pretty much how the B5 and Forces of Corruption became a thing. Well, capital ships have movable turrets. Uh, no, that is a huge source of lag, and we generally want to prefer the mod running more smoothly. Uh, especially in a game that's as CPU gated as Empire at War, if you have like 10 to 20 Venators in a fight and they each have 4 to 8 moving turrets, that's a significant draw on the CPU. If we ever did moving turrets as a common thing, it would have to be like a separate download, not the base way the game works. What are you doing? You need to. You're supposed to be here. As the bigger you have space battles be, the more of a drain that'll be, and it can very quickly make frames drop in like single digits. Let's 
destroy the turret first, and then we can... Let's do this. Whichever of these clones are functional. Four up, brothers. Go in yeah, let's get over here. Let's get Ayla as well. Emperor Mace. Mace is another model that was made uh, for the 2006 or 2008 mini mod. Uh, so he is going to be one of the first ones to get redone. Uh, but again, that'll be probably 1.0 and not 0.5. We're going to need to overwhelm the AV turret. Okay, we overwhelmed the AV turret. And Mace, you can handle these guys on the bridge. I shall. You shall know pain. Let's do this. You seek your And let's head over here with our remainders. A Jedi string. You guys can kill that. Right, that was actually a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Yoda, you can destroy that. Mace, you can crush that. No, you. We want you to destroy the thing that's actually theirs, not the neutral or semi-aligned bunker that they captured. Here we go. Planetary control achieved. All right, uh, so we'll get this. Well, it's pity actually finished the station. So that's really good. That's going to block them in. And let's check back at Thanos. If we can put a fleet on Umbara, that'll trap them there too. Well, let's get Contrum. Ooh, Kalani's here now too. A 400 sack fleet. 14 Lucre Hawks. That's not good. Building started. Uh, hmm. Building under construction. Let's get Umbara built up with those. We'll probably still need to bump down the uh, AI combat power values for vulture droids. That's the main reason they want to use um, Lucrahawks as much as they are. All right, Dark Rose is back once again. Uh, let's get Rabble Rouser into its fleet. We'll just build that back up. Even if we combined all of our fleets here, I don't think we'd be able to easily win this. So we're just going to hopefully keep them there. Complete. And let's do that over there. Uh, so generally, the, the cause of lag on galactic maps is if you have... A lot of units on a map that's just going to lag uh, and it's because the AI is moving everything around at once but in Imperial Civil War at least uh, Pox and Bob have been working on some changes to what's called the Galactic Free Store where the uh, AI basically keeps a lot of its units and then issues orders to those units uh, in Imperial Civil War we're cycling it so that different factions are doing it at different times so you don't get this same one big spike when it's issuing them all and it's a bit more uh, it should be a bit more spread out and a lot harder to notice when uh, when that's happening. Uh, but there's really only so much you can optimize that. Like, if you are playing on a big map with a lot of units, you will get lag. There's no way to optimize that beyond just 
having there be fewer planets and units, uh, which is why we have multiple sizes of maps in the mods. Uh, and then it's really like, it feels like when we put in the maps, people then decide that they're going to play the biggest map regardless of what their uh, computer power is. And then they're like, oh, well, it's lagging, so it must be shit. But really, there's nothing there's nothing we can do to optimize that beyond what we already do. Uh, it's just how the game functions. It's single core of the CPU that's being used. Uh, so really, the only way to make those maps lag less is by removing the planets, but there's already the maps with the smaller numbers of planets, so just the option's already there for people to play those. So we don't intend to cut the maps just because some people can't play them or because some people made a... Uh, experience more lag than they're comfortable with it with it if you play a smaller map it generally performs fine uh but yeah so i really want to clear out that fleet over there is i don't want to risk them getting back this section Let's put this one on Axuli, so at least they won't move past uh, Kaylee. Well, at least know that Kaylee is where they are. Construction complete. Uh, hmm. If we take Rusan. It's a pretty easy target, and then that kind of concentrates some of the choke points, too. That might be something... That might be what we do next. Yeah, let's go for that. As much as I do want to take more of this space from them. Having one fleet moving into Rusan, uh, this smaller area, would be nice. Keep it in response range. And we'll have another fleet coming out of the core pretty soon, too. Right. Luger Hall of Providence, two Coal of X, a Diamond... Choose your reinforcements. Only a level one shipyard, I think. Alright, let's jump straight back here with Astro Mega Ship. Play TF. Aggressive negotiations. Pelion's probably driving. Hammer the Maw. Roger, okay. roger. No Let's hesitation. Go. Indefatigable. Boss we'll carry out. forward. Lone Town. Reinforcements cancelled. And Spartan's Fall Pride. Out. Let's move out. Proceeding to coordinates. Moving to sector. Carrick on route. And with the rest, we'll support it with Architens. Let's get a Dreadnought back here, just for some anti-fighter. All right, Arc 170s go for the Lucre Hulk. Thanks, Fatal Sam. Okay, Gozantes need to die. And we are going to move you out of there. Because you're taking too much of the fire from something. And let's get the Architens. If we can get them to kill the Gozantes, that might actually go faster. You guys turn around. Except for you, you still need to go that way. There. Issued some double orders, but... We should be okay. There. Gozanti's dead immediately. And you guys can start going after the Providence. Yes, 
You're still getting out of there. Thank you. Standing by. I'm on. Yes, sir. Move to attack. Come on. Star and let's also get AOTF Open fire to go after that damage. Providence. Enemies in range. Target Enemies locked. incoming. Your order, yes, sir. Find them. I have them now. Eliminating. Reporting. Target. Charge laser cannon. All right. Uh, oh, you're good there. Go for the hangar in the fighter bay. And I think once they're done with the shields on the Lucre Hulk, at least, we might send them after the Golems. Which you guys can probably just go for right now. We've taken out the Kolovex. Lucre Hulk's almost. or Providence is almost dead. Get those engines. And let's get one of the Venators to shoot the engines on the Luger Hulk too. Copy. I'm on them. Heading out. Stay in let's formation. Do this. Right. Now Arx can take the Golan. Eliminating Tanks care can come over here. Get behind them. I have I copy. Now. I'm on them. Target locked. We're just letting the, the diamond do whatever it wants back here. Slowly killing Venator. Kill the bombers. You kill the diamond. You also kill the diamond. And quad turbo laser. Diamond's dead. Oh, no, Diamond's not dead. Diamond's almost dead. Now Diamond's dead. Quad turbo laser. I copy. I have them now. Standing by. Star cruiser here. Star cruiser standing by. Roger that. And other cloud. You can kill that. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Engines. Cruiser here. Engine. Okay. That was almost annoying. Are you guys getting buffering at all? Okay, main company down here. We have finally freed our Kashyyyk army. Which I have unfortunately put in another company. Eh. There we go. So that'll be the center of another army for us. We'll go from Rusan to Umbara, and that'll open up our Grab a little bit again. Uh, hmm. Duro, get you back. Rendili, let's get Valkyria back. And we'll also get Fast Strike, because I don't think we've used Fast Strike a lot. Please don't combine. Yeah, I didn't think I put them in the same place, but considering I've done it like three times already, I didn't think it was impossible. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, let's get a lat. Enemy unit sighted. 
A lot of HMPs. Can also get the A6. Yoda can get in, because I'm pretty sure Yoda, or the A6, can handle four HMPs if there's a lot helping it. You're just going to guard the Dreadnought, or Juggernaut. Let the Juggernaut tank. Because it is a tank. There we go. Main cannon's getting it. Perfect. There's still the one back there, but it's less threatening when there's not eight more of them. Yes, Commander. Perfect. Alright. Now we can get another landing zone and we can probably stage our main assault from here. So Yoda, pop on out. And let's move the Juggernaut a little bit farther up this way. Go, I will. Lancet standing by. Look, I so old to young eyes, do I? Well, he's capturing that. We can just throw his ability up. See what's going on. Moving up there. So let's get Mace landed first, and we can just blow up the... We can go get their structures with Mace and Yoda. Oh. Okay, maybe Mace can't garrison right now. Yes. Aerial artillery reporting. Moving out. So we'll destroy the buildings before we destroy their units, because otherwise the units will just respawn. But well, they've left them undefended, as long as they don't have any AA turrets right here that are going to kill uh, a sixth of the Jedi Council. No. Alright, Yoda, that's you. Glow, that's you. And let's get some ATAPs, uh, Chariots of Thunder. And Capri. Capri. Let's do this. I am in command. Right. Yoda, go for the command station. My ally is the force. Adventures. Actually, I want Yoda's ability, so. Do that. Run you in. Run you in. Run you in, and then send you guys a little bit further down. You can intercept some of them. Let me help you. You're, no, you're supposed to destroy it. You're supposed to destroy it. There you go. At least Yoda's around to destroy anything that comes out while he's doing that. There's not going to be much left down here. Or up here. Ready to receive orders. Heading for attack position. How can I help you? We are victorious. Here we go. Rusan is back in our hands. Finally. Um, hmm. I feel like that's a big part of why they're ahead of us, that stack of 15 Lucre Hulks.
Yeah, now that we have Rusan, we can just sell all of our units. Have our own Rusan Reformation. No more militarization. Uh, Zanbar is another isolated one. We can probably uh, send the Contram fleet out there. I'd like to take Telti, which I think we can auto-resolve pretty safely. We did kill one or two, we auto-resolved one or two of the, uh, of the Luke before with the same fleet and it was fine. Rather than do all the battles when they're going to end up being ultimately the same kind of thing there. All right, uh, Pride of the Outer Rim. I don't want you to get hit as easily, so let's start down here. Pride of the Outer Rim. Titanic Rice Paddle. Happy Little Accidents. And down he's illegal. Get some carrier support for him. Some anti-fighter. There we go. Reporting. Let's kill the Golan first this time. Attacking target. Gunship reporting. Reporting. Charge laser cannons. You guys, I'm actually gonna tell you to protect that from any bombers. Arkwin 70s, you're still gonna go there. You guys, I'm gonna have you start on the Ruger Hulk. Batteries online. Continue through there. Copy. On our way. Will. Here we go. I copy. Let's go. Alright, go for the bombers now. Reporting. Crews are online. Let's do this. Four up, brothers. I'm taking that guard for the Who's that? We don't have any more reinforcements anyways. All right, let's get the VSD onto the Lucre Hulk. Because the massive upfront damage it's going to do with its bombs, are, or with its concussion missiles, are better off spent on something that still has a lot of health on individual targets. It's not going to overshoot the shields or anything. And into that. Pull that Venator back here. And we'll get it to destroy Luzantes if we can. Actually, you're facing them, so you're going to help with that. Then if we can catch them in the crossfire, that'll be a lot easier. You fall back, you turn towards it, make sure those engines die. You're still angling around so you can shoot the Uker Hulk. So go for the Providence instead now. Well, may as well finish that off. Stop any Gozantis from coming to us. Firebase. I do like how the units have the same stats as an ICW, but just because of the context. Uh, a lot of the stuff that's like weaker in ICW ends up being really good here, just because it's not competing against the same stuff, like none of the modernized things are here, so a VSD, which is good in ICW, but it's not going to be like the center point of your fleet right now we're using in that way. I kind of like having that continuity between both mods. Alright, uh, let's get some of our arcs on Providences. Alright, 
And you're gonna fire on that one if you can. And acclimators, you're gonna handle the Luka Hall for us. You guys see our 90s. Have some fighter threats in there. Missile launchers are the primary target. Get behind them. Reporting. I have them Form up. Now. Navigating. I'm on them. Awaiting orders. We do also need to destroy these smaller frigates. Carrick commander here. Coming around. Uh, Carrick. Look at the Call of X. Reporting Copy. I've got them in my sights. Hold fire on those torpedo Awaiting launchers. Orders. I got one. VSD is another model that's been redone recently. Primary engine Getting system is down. So much old stuff. the engines, just in case. That first Providence is down. Mark 170s. There's enough fighters here that I will keep them on fighter duty too. are literally the only thing left there. Here we go. Yeah, Strix. How's it going? What are we looking at planet-wise? We haven't looked at that part of the stats for a while. Uh, so far, we've taken over, what, two or three planets? Complete. Two and a half? Alright, we're at about just over two thirds, or just under two thirds of the galaxy, I think. And it'll start speeding up a little bit, too. Tactical battle imminent. Uh, we are going to auto resolve this. Okay, we didn't kill both, but. We did kill that one faster. Where are you approaching? Luxuli. Moving to sector. Building under construction. Building started. Building started. I want to make sure they don't have the free pass to here anymore. Ugh. I think we will have to send something up to deal with these. It's gonna be their first job. We can't let them have all that space back. Uh, and we can also go for Sign Mirth. This fleet's not going to need to be there anymore. We can combine it with those. Well, they've had... They were able to sneak a couple units through to Kaylee. So they've started picking away at that because we don't have anything in the area. Soon we'll have Dark Rose up there. We'll kill the rest of it. And they'll be done with all that. Construction complete. Antares fleet. Let's go for Cymurth. Let's go. Construction complete. Tactical battle imminent. And Kashyyyk ground units. Complete. We'll probably split up. Uh, 
I think Mace and Plo Koon will keep Yoda and Isla together. We'll grab a couple of these guys in an ATAP. You guys come over here. And let's drop in Isla first. Skywalker here. Oh, no. I understand. Isla's on Felucia. I'm on it. <laughs> Missing land cycle. Reinforcements. Commander Skywalker reporting. Come, come. Because there's a sensor array down there. Uh, which will get Isla too. Destination set. On my way. Unit capacity. You, a long time. Yoda, give us some scouting reports here. All right, Ayla should be able to get there. Potentially, no, they're running to it. So let's also get that over there then. It's gonna be difficult for it to path its way through there, but. Epri and Yoda, you're going to go down to the landing zone and get that. I la actually go for the landing pad here first and then we'll get the the drop. Or the... The sensor. There we go. We'll wait for them to start being in range and then we'll send some dropships down with some reinforcements. I'd rather not use too much over here. Oh my god, what are you doing? TAP, it's mostly vehicles. Let's get stuff that's good with vehicles. Chariots of Thunder and... ATAP. Yes. Yes. We'll have an ATT in just as we're capturing the enforcement point. Okay. Get out of the way of the juggernaut. It's going to roll into the base first, then we'll back it up with these guys. We have a Jedi on either side, so that's going to make the buildings a lot easier to deal with. Skywalker reporting. Don't underestimate me. Stay together. Follow behind me. Let's go. Charge! What help can I be? Yoda. Agree, I do. Uh, well, yeah, focus on that. Because Ayla's going to take the the other structure behind it. So if we can just get in back here and port the Juggernaut. And you guys can destroy from this side of the base. Ayla's got that part of the base. You guys, I'm going to start moving you in over here. Yoda, get that turret. And Ayla, that structure. Alright, another successful, another happy landing. Rest in peace, Obi-Wan. Rippin' spaghetti, never forgetty. System conquered. Millie Regretti. Building under construction. 
All right, Rendilli, we're going to be able to put out... Let's get another victory. Uh, then we'll go to some of the smaller shipyards around here. You up, don't shed a tear for me. Uh, horse and Rough and Order 66. Let's get Ohelna. And we'll, we'll still try to filter through the rest of these. You're in here. And we'll finish off these northern parts. I don't want to move this fleet away from there yet. Because the whole Fondor thing is an issue. Building started. And I'm actually going to save because we are 56 minutes in, so that's probably the first episode. Uh, so we're going to keep going here on Twitch for everyone watching on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with the next episode momentarily.